Even though we know that group is a concept related to some object or space symmetry, many people may wonder what the group and its representation are useful for. We will show here how groups and their representations fit in physics and how they can be useful. First, in classical physics, the mass of an object is a scalar quantity, and position, velocity, acceleration or momentum are vector quantities. A vector quantity V is a quantity which has the magnitude and direction, and can be expressed using each V coordinate component using a Cartesian coordinate system. The vector components are different for each coordinate system. Newton's equation of motion when a force F acts on an object of mass M is expressed as follows, where V is the velocity of the object. In this case the force F is also a vector quantity. However, the transformation method for each vector component is fixed when the coordinates are exchanged, and does not depend on acceleration or force. This enables us to express the equations of motion in this way. For example, when moving to coordinates rotated by a certain angle around a certain axis and observing the motion, it is meaningless unless both sides follow the same transformation rule. In group theory, we say that acceleration and force belong to the same representation for rotation of coordinates. There are an infinite number of representations of the rotation group, not just scalar and vector. Newton's equation of motion happens to be given so that both sides are vector quantities. There are even simpler examples. A diatomic molecule, such as the hydrogen molecule H2, consists of two identical nuclei surrounded by a number of electrons. Assume that a virtual operation of exchanging two nuclei is performed. Operations that transpose two identical things, including operations that do not transpose anything, form the simplest group, the symmetric group of degree 2. There are only two irreducible representations for this symmetric group. From this, it can be guaranteed that all states of the wave function of the hydrogen molecule can be classified into symmetric or antisymmetric states corresponding to this irreducible representation without solving the equations. If a dynamical system or a mathematical relation has some group symmetry, all the dynamical quantities appearing in it must belong to one of the representations of the group formed by that symmetry. Since the space in which we live is the Euclidean space, the three-dimensional rotation group SO3 or the closely related two-dimensional unitary group SU2 undoubtedly plays the important role. With this logic, you might think that the rotation group of four-dimensional or higher-dimensional space is not directly related to the application. But this is not the case. For example, suppose there is a quantum mechanical system composed of n elementary particles. In quantum mechanics, each particle is described by a wave function phi i. In quantum mechanics, due to the property of the superposition principle, the state psi i obtained by multiplying n wave functions by a complex number m i j and recombining them can be regarded as equivalent to the original state phi i. In this case, Mij can be taken as an n by n unitary matrix or a rotation matrix, giving rise to a dynamical system with continuous group symmetry called SUN or SON. For example, SU3, SU5, SO10, and so on are used in elementary particle models. Thus, higher order groups may be applied depending on the number of physical system components, even if they are not related to the properties of space. 